Find exact solutions for 3 cotangent squared x equals 7 cosecant x minus 7 on an interval from 0 to 2 pi. So the first thing I see here is I've got two different trig functions. I've got one term that has cotangent x in it and one that has cosecant x. But I do know a connection between those because it is a cotangent x squared. There's a Pythagorean identity that says 1 plus cotangent squared x equals cosecant squared x. I can solve this for cotangent x by subtracting 1 from both sides and then I could replace cotangent with cosecant squared x minus 1. So I'm going to do that. So I have 3 times cosecant squared x minus 1 equals 7 cosecant x minus 7. Now I like that because I have everything in terms of the same trig function. I see I have quadratic and I have first power so I'm going to get everything on one side equals 0 in descending order by powers on cosecant x. So in order to do that I will be distributing this 3 through so I'm going to have 3 cosecant squared x. This next term is negative 3 or minus 3 so I'm going to wait on that one and I'm going to move the 7 cosecant x over. 7 cosecant x subtract there and then I'm going to add 7 to both sides and I also have this minus 3 so that's going to make that a plus 4 equals 0. So I wanted everything on the same side in descending order because now I'm going to see if I can factor this. So for to get 3 cosecant squared x that would be 3 cosecant x and cosecant x. To get a positive end but a negative middle both signs would need to be negative and if I put the 4 here and the 1 here that's going to give me the correct middle. Outers are th negative 3 cosecant x and inners are negative 4 cosecant x. There's my negative 7. Now I use the zero factor property and I set each factor equal to zero and solve it. So I have 3 cosecant x minus 4 equals zero and cosecant x minus 1 equals zero. So getting the cosecant x by itself that would give me 4 thirds and getting cosecant x by itself here that would give me a 1. Now I'm going to express both of these in terms of sine because if I need to use the inverse trig function the calculator has sines, cosines, or tangents so not cosecant. So I'm going to take the reciprocal of both sides. 1 over cosecant x is sine x and the reciprocal of 4 thirds is 3 fourths. So 1 over cosecant x is sine x and the reciprocal of 1 is 1. Now I'm ready to answer this but it wants exact solutions and there is not a value that I know for the angle on the unit circle for 3 fourths and so it's not going to be something that works out nicely to pi thirds or pi sixths or something like that so if I need it exact I just have to express it in terms of the inverse trig function. So x is going to equal the arc sine of 3 fourths. Remember inverse trig functions equal angle so that equals the angle whose sine is 3 fourths and we know if we use arc sine that that would give us an angle in quadrant 1 because the sine is positive and I need a second angle which would be in quadrant 2 where sine is also positive. They have the same y value. So how would I get at that angle? Well this first angle is arc sine of 3 fourths if I did pi and subtracted that arc sine of 3 fourths angle then I would have the second angle. So my second answer is going to be x equal pi minus arc sine of 3 fourths and that's exact form for my second angle. That covers this piece. Now I look here at sine x equal 1 and we know that the sine is 1 when the angle is pi over 2. So here are my three answers that solve this equation.